Hi, it's Patrick with LimeHealer.com. I just wanted to go over something I learned the other day personally while I was working with um, someone I was life coaching. Uh, they don't have Lyme disease, they're just in a constant state of disease. Uh, they were born to, into an abusive relationship or abusive parents, and then uh, over their life they found an abusive partner, and they settled down with that abusive partner and they made a lie for themselves in abuse. So now they're sick and tired of being sick and tired and they don't have the health care, the money, the skill sets, the knowledge and the know-how to get themselves, this is themselves, out of kind of like going to do a visual here of uh, what I learned in this session. which actually helped me a lot personally because I can kind of see what this person was doing and I could see, you know, how myself and how all of this basically is very relatable. So I'm making it as relatable as I can. I've got a salt and pepper shaker here and a, and a castle. And um, the person that, you know, I was life coaching had uh, a decent amount of, I guess, abuse over her, her entire life. And uh, that has basically... Um, made her physical symptoms um, kind of impossible to deal with to a point. That, you know, they can't work, they can't really function, and um, their abuser is abusive enough that in order for them to change and make changes and overcome this uh, state that they're in, this state of, you know, dis-ease that they're in, uh, they're going to have to make some, you know, real different, you know, real changes, and those changes are probably going to, you know, upset their abuser and their apple cart. And uh, if they if they do that, then they're going to have to, you know, in a sense, be willing to pay some of the prices. So what this person was doing was that, you know, I was kind of explaining to them, you know, we have to get you over here where your goals are. We have to make some goals and we have to set some standards and we have to set some you know boundaries that are healthy and then we're going to have to get you over to your you know your your wants your wishes your dreams and your desires we're going to have to make them true so we're going to have to come up with a, a certain set of you know guidelines and rules to to work in and a little structure system to work in as we kind of navigate through these uncharted territories to get to our dream, our castle. You know, the house on the hill. So what she was doing was taking the hassle, the house on the hill, the, the her, her, her wishes, her wants, her desires, and immediately bringing them down to her level. And, you know, degrading them, so to speak. So that no person really had a great life nothing was decent, nothing was worthy of, you know, going through all these things for, nothing was worth the change, you know, Ferraris aren't, aren't that good cars, they break down, they, they cost a lot of money to fix, uh, houses, you know, they, they have a lot of real estate tax, they, they, people break into the houses when you get something good, and, and then you don't have very much of a, uh, you know, really a good neighborhood all the time, sometimes the school system isn't what you think, you know, and then you get your people and your, your dream job and your dream job. Sometimes the boss isn't that good and, and they make you work these long hours and they take away from your family and your, and your life. And, you know, sometimes money isn't everything. And they were just very good, no matter what, within very minutes, seconds really, of taking something beautiful, altogether beautiful, and making it something altogether ugly. And then that way they weren't altogether ugly. They were kind of comfortable. They, they took something beautiful and made it altogether ugly as fast as they could and demoralized it and degraded it just like they've been treated their entire life. So what, what has been done to them, belittling, downgrading, lowering the value system, they did that with everything else. So they're going to stay stuck and they're going to stay sick and they're going to stay tired because they're not willing to make the changes that they need to change and do, and that they're not willing to break the hearts that they need to break, and they're not willing to change their actions 
and they're not willing to get new habits and they're not willing to come up with new thought processes because they've taken their, their castle, the house on the hill, and they've brought it down to basically to their level. So why would I change myself? Why would I change my thought process? Why would I change my actions? Why would I change my habits? Why would I change everything about me? Why would I get over my symptoms? Why would I get over my health care? Why would I take my abuser and put them in a position to abuse me again when really I'm only going to make a yard on the football field here of life? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So what then they do is they take it to the next step is they put themselves in front of the problem. So now they're bright and shiny and new and, they're, and they're want, their dream, their desire is off the table. And it's no good anymore. It's not even pretty. It's not even... It's not, even, it's not even a lofty ideal anymore. It's, uh, they're actually a little better than that. And now they feel good. Now all they have to do is fix the symptoms of their life. So they have to get rid of the knee pain. They have to get rid of the, the migraines. They have to get rid of... And, and you know what they also have to do? They have to get the abuser to not be such an abuser and then they would have their life back. So once again, they're victims of their lifestyles because they're waiting for their abuser to finally be beautiful, altogether beautiful, altogether lovely, which ain't gonna happen. So this is what a lot of us have done. We've all done this, we're all good at this, and we all need someone to help us you know, with this. We've got to keep our superheroes heroes. We have to keep our wants, our dreams, and our desires sacred. And, we, and if we have an idea, a, a wish, and a, and a desire, and a goal, you know, we have to protect that. We have to keep that in a bubble. We've got to protect that. And then what we have to do is we have to change us. The only way we're going to get to this place is we got to change us. We're the only ones we have power over. We're the only ones who can think a thought. We're the only ones who can make a feeling. We're the only ones who have power over us, literally. Us has to change. We can't change the surroundings and make it like us. We have to change us to make it like what we want. So we're going to have to change. And that's hard for people to do, and that's why the sick stay sick. And that's why they're in a chronic state of disease, because the distance between them and their goal is too great. And they don't have the skill sets or the knowledge, and they're still a victim. And victims don't fix anything. Victims stay victims. That's why they're victims. They get to stay stuck their entire life. People who understand that their life is their own and they have power and they take responsibility for it forgive their people who did wrongs to them and take over their life, well, they get some yardage on the football field. Victims stay victims, number one. Number two, you don't, if you don't have the skill set or the knowledge or the know-how how to break this down, then you're going to have to find people in your life. You're going to have to get an accountability partner. Uh, I do a lot of work with the accountability partnership program. Uh, for people who are trying to get fit and well and eat and change their lifestyles and change their habits. Uh, you have to break this life. It took you a whole life to ruin it. So you're not going to get over it in five days or five weeks or five months. It's going to take some time. Your thoughts are going to have to change. And then your actions are going to have to change. And then your habits are going to have your support system has to change. Your whole life has to change. Mind, body, and spirit to get to this place. And that's not going to happen if you bring your wants and your desires and your dreams and you make them substandard like your life and like they did to you. That's not going to happen. You're going to stay here stuck, and sick, and tired. So you need a life coach. You need an accountability partner. You need a support group. And mostly you need to stop chasing your symptoms. The symptoms of your, of your life. Stop chasing the symptoms of your life. And get to the core of the problem. 
fix your thoughts about the core of the problem, fix your belief systems about the core of the problem, change your actions and your direction about the core of the problem, and change your habits about the core of the problem, and then, then grab some people who will hold your hand and take you slowly but surely through this little barren, desolate desert of I'm not so sure, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how my prisoner or captivator or abuser or is going to treat me while I go through, while I break my uh, little comfort zone here and get out here. Well, you need people with you to help you and support you and hold your hand. But you also got to stop ch chasing your symptoms. Leave your castle a castle and understand it's you who has to be the changer agent. You have to be your own change agent. The cavalry isn't coming. The knight in shining armor is not going to pick you up and take you over to the castle and kiss you and make you happy. No, no, no. You're going to have to do it yourself. You're going to have to get your train to the station yourself. You're going to have to buy the ticket, sit in the seat long enough for the train to get to the station. And to do that, you're going to need some help. You're going to need real support. You can't do it yourself. You, or you wouldn't be where you are. So knowledge of that is the first key. If you were here, then make this bigger and better and more beautiful. But that's not what this is about. This is about stopping the insanity of rationalizing irrational behavior. And stop taking your goals because they seem too lofty and bringing them down to a, a normal level that really isn't even worth your time attaining now. That's what this is about. We've all done that. We all need help in that area. And I hope this helps you in some way, shape, or form.